I'm Chef Bill with the Culinary Institute of America. Hey Bill, I'm Chef Sal and I'm from Italy. Well, I'm from Sicily. And today we make pesto. Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking. By the way, the youths won against BYU. <laughs> today I would like to talk about pesto, how to make real pesto. And watching Bill cooking pesto that way without the right ingredients made me go nuts. Made me crazy. Really, that's crazy stuff, you know, don't do that, don't believe him because that's not the real pesto. You can use it for salad dressings, in soups, in uh, pasta dishes like we're going to do later on. I've never heard anybody in my life that put pesto in salads or soups or whatever, you know, we put pesto on pasta. Uh, so let's get started. You can make pesto from all different kinds of herbs. Uh, the traditional is basil, I've had it with sage, I've had it with arugula, Today we're going to make it with parsley. Pesto is a sauce made out of basil and we cook it with pasta, of course. You can make pesto with all types of herbs, you know, that's not the pesto recipe. Pesto comes from Genova, from Genoa as you guys call it, you know. It's a city in the northwest part of Italy and they are specialized in pesto. The best pesto in the world comes from Genova. That really looks disgusting to me. Parsley doesn't have a really nice taste. Cooked that way is crazy. Look at this. It's put in like in a hot pan with hot water. What are you doing? That's not the right thing. Are you making a, a parsley soup in the first place? When I use it later on, it will be incredibly bright and vibrant. It does not take a long time. Oh my gosh. This parsley looks like spinach. It really makes me vomit. Oh my gosh, that's not the right way to do it and it's not vibrant as you're saying it is, I don't know. What are you doing man? That's the wrong way of cooking pesto. Because in the first place, the ingredient is totally wrong. Well, let's get this straight Bill, you know, when you say the word pesto, pesto means to crush. Just so that we don't have a watery pesto, I'm going to squeeze the excess moisture out of this, but it goes very, very quickly. And the heavy lifting from this point forward is done by the blender. You know, you cannot use a blender to make pesto. I mean, you can, but the real recipe is by crushing, you know, the herbs. Here we go. So he's putting like, parsley inside the blender and then it's like adding garlic and it says like don't worry about it like the garlic will be fine inside the blender and the crazy thing to me is the fact that it's adding like lemon zest i don't understand what lemon has to do with pesto i mean there are like different type of taste and then you're adding olive oil and of course it's not adding enough olive oil in fact when it's like Turning on the blender, the blender is just like blocking itself, it's not working, you know. Of course, and then it realizes that you need to add more olive oil on it to make it work. And it's like an elementary thing. But it's just the, the, the type of ingredients that are used for this recipe are totally, totally wrong. So here we are in the final countdown. Oh my gosh. I will never ever try this parsley soup, whatever it made. I wouldn't. I don't want to call it pesto. You know, this is not pesto. I'm so sorry, but this is not pesto. And look at this, the cubes. That's a cool idea to to save the the the, the parsley thing here. Like, I mean, <laughs> that's so 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 crazy. So let's give a look to the right ingredients and let's give a look on how to make pesto because I really need to prove it guys, pesto is made differently. Different ingredients, better ingredients, a better pattern, you know, using this tool and usually people use a bigger tool than this one of course, this is quite small, Italian ingredients, 
best ingredients in the world. Have a look. Well, first of all, we need a mortar, then we need basil from Genova, garlic from Versalico, Parmigiano cheese, Fiore Sardo cheese, extra virgin olive oil, salt from Trapani Salt Works, and pine nuts, Italian pine nuts, of course. So he's basically crushing the pine nuts. He then adds basil from Genova. As you see, he's adding just a little pinch of salt. You can add more salt if you like afterwards. Then the chef continues crushing. He goes around crushing this amazing basil. As you see, this amazing chef is adding some Parmesan cheese, Parmigiano cheese, and then some Fiore Sardo cheese as well. See? And, uh, and then he keeps on mixing and is adding eventually the extra virgin olive oil to give it a little bit of consistency. It's a long process, it takes time. It's not something that you do like with a blender. This is the best pesto in the world. So to me, it's just priceless. The price of this pesto is around 28 euros per kilo. The consistency of this pesto and the taste is just marvelous and so hard to describe. Come and try it. See, there's nothing in the world like this. Look at this pasta, it looks so good. So good, look at the consistency, it's so amazing. So tell me, where in the world are you gonna be able to find something so good and so tasty? This is so marvelous. Mm. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from South. Thank you so much and remember, if you feel sad, eat pesto. Bye!